For what? You know, I'm still trying to place you. You didn't do any commercials while you were selling tires, did you? Hey, you want some beans? It's left over from the FEMA run. Thanks. Wow, I can't believe you actually have a can. <sighs> you said earlier that it wouldn't be long now. What exactly did that mean? Hey, uh, I noticed you're not registered. That must be hard, living off the charity of others. Yeah, when I was a kid, I heard that bad things happen to people like that. <laughs> In fact, it seems like I remember that people also said that it wasn't going to be as bad as this, either. The stuff I used to believe. You know what? You still haven't answered my question. You know, the four horsemen, the trumpets, the bowls, vials. It should put us right about on the fifth seal. John Holland. <laughs> You're John Holland? You know, the beard was giving me a little to weigh 350 pounds. <laughs> the Reverend John Holland! Tires, huh? You know, you used to preach to thousands of people in your church every Sunday on TV. You had a worldwide audience. Well, how the mighty have fallen. You know, I seem to remember something called the rapture. So, Reverend, what about that? Where's the rapture now? The word rapture isn't even in the Bible. It's actually called the gathering. And I weigh 330 pounds, thank you very much. It's called the tribulation diet. I don't recommend it. Anyway, I did sell tires. That was a long time ago. I just... I just changed what I was selling. What? False dreams? Hopes? Religion? You know, it might have been a good idea to let us all in on that fact. You could have saved us a lot of grief! Steve! Don't go! Why? It's not safe! No, I mean, why did you lie to everybody? <laughs> I mean, I guess I should have known. Now that I think about it, it all sounds just a little too good to be true, doesn't it? <laughs> Raptured out first, then there's seven years of tribulation, and then a second, second coming. It don't add up, does it, preacher? <laughs> so when will it happen? Any more lies you want to tell me before I go? You don't know, you don't know what it's like to have a mother stare you in the face and tell you that she has to take the mark just to feed her kids. And that if that's what it takes to feed her children, that she could never serve a God like that. You don't know. You can't judge me. It looks like everybody got left behind, Preacher. I just told them what they wanted to hear. So when then? When are you going to tell the truth this time? Matthew 24. Let no man deceive you. <laughs> oh! Who exactly are we talking about? Famines. Earthquakes. You know what? We've always had those things. These are the beginning of sorrows. The beginning? They'll betray one another. 
but he that endures to the end. The end of what? He'll be saved. You said we'd be out of here by now. The gospel will be preached to the entire world. What gospel? Whose gospel? Woe well, unto them that are with child. But then shall be great tribulation. <laughs> you convinced me. If you hadn't convinced me, maybe my wife, my family. You know what? You're pathetic. And, and they shall gather together God's elect from the four winds. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. <laughs> now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, which happens first, then by our gathering together unto him, which happens next, that ye not be soon shaken in mind or troubled, neither by spirit or word or letter from us, that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day will not come, except there come a falling away first. That doctrine that's so prevalent in these last days of an early rapture. I know you were told that you will be out of here before the Antichrist comes, but the Bible says he will not come until that man of sin is revealed. The son of perdition.